my dudes, my buddies, my G's. Ian Taylor here, and we are back with another reaction video. Yes, yes, yes. Today, we are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are. And do you know why? It's because we will be listening to Money Game Part 2 by the man, the myth, the legend, Ren. And I couldn't be more excited. I hope you guys are ready for another awesome reaction video. Before we start... I just want to say there seems to be a lot of debate on whether I should pause as much as I pause in the comments. The majority of people are cool with how much I pause because I too tend to delve into the songs and the lyrics or the videos or, or the, 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 the instruments, the, the instrumentation of it or instrumentals of it and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep doing what I do, man. I'm, I'm going to keep doing it my way. And I hope you guys are cool with that. Um, you know, so sweet. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and get rocking and rolling, man. If you do enjoy this reaction, please remember to hit subscribe. It does help out the channel tremendously and smash that like button man smash the living shit out of it take your phone and just freaking break your finger on the screen i'm just kidding don't don't do that but you, you should hit the like button <laughs> okay let's go ahead and get this pulled up man i am excited i am excited guys yes i am so excited all right ren money game part two yes 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 um. Um. I already love this beat. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria. Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show. America. <laughs> yeah, I figured he was going to call out America there. That's cr that's cool. So he starts off, he goes, strange times we're living in, panic and hysteria. Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for you. Now, this song was released a little over three years ago, I believe, um, or something like that. And that was right around the time of the pandemic. And what happened during the pandemic was a lot of people started to kind of realize that maybe the people up top, there was like this, this wave of realization that came across the common man of maybe the people at the top do not have everybody's best interest in mind. It was kind of when the poor man started figuring out, and I know that a lot of people knew this beforehand, obviously, but like it was definitely more attention was brought to it during this time period. So he says, poor man, learn the rich don't care for you. Narcissist mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show America. So narcissist mindsets, it's kind of like, in order to win in this system, you have to be a narcissist almost, right? You have to not really care about the impact of your choices as long as your wallet is getting fatter or or you have power accumulating through your decisions. You know what I mean? So it's, it's interesting how he starts it off. I do like that. And, of course, he kind of calls out America because we're known as this um, – we're kind of known as this – well, not really known as this utopia, but it's it's like utopia esque country in America, right? It's supposedly a utopia. Well, it's far from it. It's more of a dystopia. Fun fact, and I'm sure you guys know that. But it's cool that he calls us out here because it's it's very very prevalent in American politics and and American uh, you know society. Um, interesting, interesting. I'm a living in panic and hysteria Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria Sit back and watch the show America Britain split through fickle shit A government of hypocrites Okay These counterfeit politicians sit in parliament Not adequate Ooh, that rhyme scheme was so good That these counterfeit politicians sit in parliament Not adequate Like the, 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 the flow there was really, really cool And then the rhyme scheme was super dense too and of course i think he's talking about um you know britain's political structure and and the corruption that sits inside of parliament and things like that too right here so that's that's very cool and i like how he says these counterfeit politicians you know because a counterfeit is a fake uh is is something that is not of uh legal tender in a sense you know what i mean and and so he's kind of saying like politicians are so corrupt nowadays that they are breaking the same laws that they're creating in a lot of different and they're also framing the laws in a way that only benefits them or their partners in in the corporate uh in the corporate world as well you know so interesting interesting 
politics, these counterfeit politicians sit in parliament. Not adequate, come on. Needlessly bleeding resources all dry. Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise. Oh, what a shame it would be, I would die. If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hold on, let me catch up my lyrics here. So it, he's he says, needlessly bleeding resources all dry. Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise. So they don't really, he's saying politicians don't give a shit about, you know, the environment and, 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 and the, the, you know, think like the diamond mines in Africa or think, you know, there's a reason blood diamonds is a, is a, is a, um, is a thing. Um, you know, that's, it's a very interesting concept that he's playing on because it is absolutely true. And I think that we all know this. I don't think I'm sharing anything very profound. I think that we all know that, you know, the politicians have a tendency to bleed resources dry and, and they don't care how it's done as long as it means profit. You know, you look at the oil industry is a very, very good example of that. You know, we'll, we'll bleed a country dry of its oil and then leave them in the dust. And it's, it's, it's a sad world that we live in. You know, it's, it's very, very strange from time to time. Oh, what a shame it would be. I would die. If number 10 Downing Street burned in the fire. And that's number 10 Downing Street. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that like the government headquarters um, in Britain? Is, is that, is that correct? I think that's correct. I think I right. Oh, what a shame it would be. I would die. If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire. Only joking, only messing. Don't be stressing. I'm a peaceful adolescent. There's no need to be unpleasant. Write my thesis in a rhyme scheme to analyze the brain while my finger's on the trigger of a money game. Oh, rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes our way. And no surprise to distort the lies. Poison in the face. So he's bringing that hook back. This is the same hook from Money Game Part 1, which, by the way, I do have that reaction on my channel as well. So if you haven't seen that, be sure to check it out. Um, but so he, he's using that same a similar chorus. I don't know if it's the exact same or if it's just similar, but he's using that, you know, oh, rain, 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 a storm comes, it comes our way. Now, remember, there's that double entendre with rain. It's, it's not just a storm. It's also the reign of power, you know what I mean? Like somebody is reigning over you kind of a thing. And so he use it, he's using that double entendre there, and then he says, a storm, it comes our way. A storm is usually symbolic of a problem or a uh, or, or dark times ahead, you know, something bad is about to happen. So it's, interested, it's interesting how he's, how he's bringing this, this hook back. And no surprise to distort the lies, poison in the face, but we die before the play, bang, bang, bang. Yes. It's easy to play. That it is. Good point the mirror brought ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. I love that. But point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. Because, I mean, he, he's playing on that same concept he played on in the first one where he's talking about how we're all complacent in this in this money game. Um, you know, we have to start. He, he, he's, it's, like a, it's like a reminder to, to pay attention to your choices and your actions and be aware of the system that is around you and the negative impacts of such a system and and not only be aware of it but actively try not to be somebody who plays into that system uh, because that's the only way that change will become uh, reality you know what I mean so it's it's interesting I love that he does tie it back though and he does talk about the fact that we are all a part of this money game it's not just the politicians it's not just the corporate leaders it's it's not just the A-listers, you know what I mean? The top 1%. It's also everybody else who plays into this system. Sometimes not by choice and sometimes ignorantly, you know, sometimes they say, they say ignorance is bliss. Um, and, you know, it, ignorance can be bliss, but it can also be very dangerous. I think it is important to be aware of these problems that are going on in society and actively try to find better ways to do things, you know, and, and Ren does a really good job of kind of talking about that concept there. With the mirror brought ourselves, we're all part of this old money game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This old money game. I'm loving the cinematography of this. This old money. And it's kind of it's kind of cool because it's on this like 
this tr- this old looking TV screen, right? It's it's almost a metaphor for saying that this isn't a new problem. You know, this is something that's been going on for a very long time. And that br- instrumental breakdown there was really really cool. I love I love his uh, I love his voice and and the different things that he does to make a really cool rhythm out of vocal patterns. In that, it's it's very 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 clever. And the instrumentation behind it is beautiful as well. Hey. Is a game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime. I feel like I just saw Jigsaw in that static. Line by line. This is business. Yeah, I feel like I just saw Jigsaw in that static there. Hold on. It looks like Jigsaw, right? Game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime. I'll break it down for you, motherfuckers, line by line. This is business economics in the nursery rhyme. So he. That's interesting. He says money is a game and the ladder we climb. That could be a reference to um what's that what's that fucking game called? Um ladders um uh shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. It's uh it's the it's the whole point of that game is like the way to win is kind of you end up with the most quote unquote money and stuff. That that's interesting. That's 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 that that could be what he's talking like a good little reference there. And then it says the money is a game and the ladder we climb turns a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime, you know, and that's that that's both prevalent. That's prevalent on both sides of that scale. Right. So if you're very, very wealthy, it's it's a lot easier to fall into political corruption or corporate corruption and greed and things like that. But if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum and it's it's easy to have to fall into a life of crime because you don't have money you know what i mean so with in the same line he's kind of he's he's kind of tying both of those in saying you know money is the root of 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 crime on either side of things you know it's very very interesting i'll break it down for you motherfuckers line by line this is business economics in the nursery rhyme she sells seashells on a seashore but the value of these shells will fall due to the laws of supply and demand no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand so i like that he starts that off with the sea she sells seashells by the seashore nursery rhyme because i remember that when i was from a like a a very uh, the tongue twister i I was a very little kid when i first heard that and that kind of reminds me of childhood innocence and things like that and and it is an innocent little tale of she sells she sells by the seashore and then the it says but the value of these shells will fall due to the laws of supply and demand no one binds to shells buy wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand so it's like I mean, I can kind of see where he's going to go with this. It's basically, so take away the shells, you know, hide the shells from society and, 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 and the value will rise because that is the law of supply and demand, right? If there's no shells, they're rare and, and the rarer they are, the more valuable they are in the eyes of humans for some unknown freaking reason. Uh, (laughs) But that's that I like where he's going with this. He takes this innocent childhood uh, nursery rhyme and he's gonna break it down using the the selling of the shells i i love that that is it's very cool you take the innocence and translate it into the economics and i i bet you it's just gonna get darker and darker the more you know he goes down this uh tangent he's about to go down but let's go due to the laws of supply and demand no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand step one must create a sense of scarcity shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare you see bear with me take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island stockpile them high until they're rarer than the diamond step yeah. two gotta make the people think that they want it. really want them really fucking want them hit them like bronson influencers product placement featured primetime entertainment if you haven't got a shell then you're just a fucking waste man if you haven't got a shell then you're just a fucking waste man i love how he's taking it that step further and he's basically saying so we've created the demand now we have to create well we've we've created the scarcity now we have to create demand so we need to pay influencers marketers um you know commercials product placements things like that to promote this and make it seem like if you don't have a shell man you just ain't cool you know you aren't the cool kid it compares like with me with the freaking uh in in in, in uh middle school 
back when flip phones were a big thing, there was this type of flip phone called the Razor, and it was very thin, and it was very sleek looking and super cool. And I tell you what, man, if you didn't have a Razor phone, you were not cool, dude. And then they, they came out with the slide ones, the ones that like slid out a keyboard from it instead of flipping it open. And if you didn't have one of those, you weren't cool. You know, you, you, you weren't uh, part of the cool kids if you didn't have one of those. And it just goes to show that even children are materialistic, you know, and it's because they grow up in this society that's extremely materialistic. And, and I, I, I know that's a side tangent that doesn't have much to do with, with this, but it, it, it does in a sense of I've experienced that same fucking thing of if you don't have a shell, then you're just a fucking waste, man. And then they've created this scarcity to it, and boom, basic economics. Interesting. This is product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Free. It's Monopoly. Invest inside some property. Start a corporation. Ooh, there's also a there's also a double entendre there with the waste, man, because then you're just a fucking waste, man. As in, I see now in the lyrics here that it's got it's only one word on the video. And, and so what's a waste man? A garbage man is, I think, what that is in Britain, but that's what we call them in, in – we just call them the garbage men in, uh, in the U.S. And, and, you know, if you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste man. That's interesting. So now you're just a garbage man, you know, if you haven't got a shell. And, and it's looked at like you don't want to be a garbage man, right? There's that, 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 um, that – there's even videos that I've seen of like moms being like, if you grow up, when you grow up, you're going to be like him if you don't go to college and they're pointing at a trash guy. Fun fact, though, trash men make really, really good money and they work really, really hard. So <laughs> it's it's I mean, they but they make awesome money doing it. So interesting, though. I really do enjoy. I, I like what he did there because I, I only caught the waste man part. Like you're just a fucking waste man but then you're just a fucking waste man like you're just a garbage man that's interesting you fucking want hit on like bronson influencers product placement featured primetime entertainment if you haven't got a shell then you're just a fucking waste man free it's monopoly invest inside some property start a corporation make a logo do it properly shells must sell that will be a new philosophy swallow all your morals they're a poor man's quality for expand 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 clear forest make land fresh blood on hands five why just shells why limit yourself she sells seashells sell oil as well. Yeah, Six yeah, there sell it is. Stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock. Ooh, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock. That's that's interesting because at a certain point, uh, you know, corporations do kind of put like look at the iPhones. Look at iPhones, for example, right? They they make a new iPhone every year and everyone flocks out and goes and buys the next iPhone, even though the phone that they have is just fine. They have no need for this new iPhone, but Apple has created this this uh, mantra of you have to have the new best iPhone, you know, and they're not even getting that better with the new releases, you know, that the camera gets better, so little, little things like that get better, but like it, it, it's, you don't need the new phone. It's not a necessity. Just like water, or just like a fish doesn't need more water. It's already living in water and the clock doesn't need more time because it tells the time. You know what I mean? So it's interesting. I, I like that he says that. And then he goes, guns, sell stocks, sell diamonds, sell rocks, you know, just rocks. At a certain point, it does get that meaningless. There was that, um, there was that, uh, the 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 pet rock that was ginormous in America for for I can't remember if it was like the fifties or sixties or something, but it was just a little rock with Google AI's eyes, and 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 every kid wanted a pet rock, you know. And oh man, so interesting. Sell six on, sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock, sell the press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes, then run to be the president of the United States, a big smile, wow. big wave, that's great, now the truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate, nine polarize the people, controversy is the game, it don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name, it don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name, oh and then I paused it on the Make America Great Again thing, that's... That's kind of funny. Um, that's ironic. But yeah, wow, 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 wow. Hold on, I got to get these lyrics pulled back up here because so that I can so that I can you know delve in again. But it's it's just such an interesting concept that he's tackling here. And then he talks about like run to be the president of the United States. You know what I mean? Like it's cuz cuz what happened with uh with with Donald Trump you know he was a businessman and then he was a reality tv star and then he ran to be president and he fucking won you know what i mean and it's just so crazy that that was even possible and and you know not to say people who f follow or are 
were fans of Trump back then or did vote for Trump, you know, and, and I'm not talking shit about anybody here. I'm just analyzing what the song is talking about. You know, my own personal political preferences have nothing to do with it. But and then he says, big smile, big wave. That's great. Now the truth is overrated. Tell lies out the gate, you know, because because you look at all the political debates at almost every presidential election. And it's just a bunch of people standing on a stage, basically worming their way around the questions, you know, they're asked these pretty direct questions and, and it's almost a game of who can skate around that question the best and and not give you a direct answer, but make it sound really, really good, you know, and, and so that's that's crazy. And then he says nine polarize the people controversy is the game. It's, uh, and, and that's so true, because, you know, if you split people up. They're so busy fighting each other that they 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 won't fight you. You know what I mean? They're so busy bickering back and forth about each other. They're so distracted by that that you can basically get away with doing anything. And if and it don't matter if they if they hate you or if they all it don't matter if they hate you if they all say your name. And that's that's another thing of of power. You know, people at the top they they say heavy lies the head that holds the crown or whatever the figure of speech is there. You know, and and uh, it's it's kind of like. It, it's, it doesn't matter what the people think of you as long as they know about you and you have power over them and you have money. You know, it all boils back down to money. That's so interesting. A big smile, mate, big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate. Now I'm polarized, the people, controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Ten. The world is yours. Step out on the stage to a round of applause. You're a liar, cheat, a devil, a whore. And you sell seashells on the seashore. Rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes up way. And uh, that's so cool. He, he, he says, he says, 10, the world is yours. Step out on a stage to a round of applause. But you're still a liar. You're still a cheat. You're still a devil. You're still a whore. And you still sell seashells on the seashore you know you're still he brings it right back to that first line of the song and i love how he tied it back there because it is true you know i mean trump rallies were the biggest um were, were some of the biggest political events that have happened in a very long time and and yet he's under scrutiny right now in a in the in in his trial you know he's currently being prosecuted or for for or um you know he has charges brought against him and things like that so it's 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 absolutely wild that ren is able to bring it back to that point i love i love the tie and i love the full circle that just happened rain 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 a storm it comes up way and those who pass to distort their lies poison in the face but we die upon the play bang 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 it's easier to blame good point the mirror brought ourselves we're all part of this whole money game mm -hmm. and he includes like game show footage mm -hmm. and then Hitler mm -hmm. this old money game I love that home I love that home because it's almost like the, you know, like the Buddhist home, like that home there in the background where he's talking about he's talking about all of this terrible stuff that happens in the world and in the political realm and stuff like that in the corporate realm. And then he's got this home in the background, you know, that it's like he's almost it's almost a metaphor for like what what humans do. You know, we're aware of this corporate bullshit. We're aware of this political corruption and yet we're just kind of sitting there like home oh, everything's fine home oh, whatever home oh, continue fucking us you know like it's just it's just a cool way to do that well all right man i'm very impressed i'm happy i got to listen to part two man part two was very very good i love the vibe of the song you know it's not as gritty as as part one was and um and i don't know if i listened to like a live version of part one or if it was the actual song itself, but I know that it was live, the one that I, we listened to. I don't know if there's an original version or if that is the version. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments about part one. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this part two reaction, man. Money Game, part two by Ren. Super, super cool. A lot of awesome concepts were talked about. I loved his breakdown of the economic system and kind of like the seashell seashells thing. I, I love how he did that. And I... 
I'm very impressed, as always, by Red, man. It's so much fun to to delve into his music every single time. So please, guys, if you enjoyed the reaction, smash that subscribe button and smash that like button even harder, man. Smash it. Smash it like you never smashed something before, you know, because uh, I would appreciate that. <laughs> subscribe button will be hopping up right here, and then I will include a link to some of my own music right here. I did just release a song not too long ago called Good Morning, and I do hope you guys like it, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, you are a champion peace love prosperity all that spock shit my friends stay beautiful